get started right away. This is the tail end of a project. This is the end of a Final Cut Pro project. This is when we shot this fall with the Disney wedding team in New York City. What I'm showing you here is that there's a lot of clips. I saved a lot of energy here for the end of the edit. I wanted to leave my audience with wanting more. Looking at this video, I want my audience to feel, oh my gosh, I wish I was there. I gotta watch this thing again. That's a real edit, real life situation there. And that was done this fall in New York City. So how do we get there? It all starts with music, right? This is Song Freedom. This is where I license every single song I've ever licensed for music. Uh, I have an admin, admin account here, Special Privileges, which means I'm the guinea pig and get to see things before you do. Unfortunately, I still have to buy the darn songs, but uh, that's just life, right? Mixtapes. This is my... This is my baby here. I, I always use mixtapes for every single project, but this company I'm working with now, this is my real mixtape that I sent to them. I email these mixtapes. These are my these are my songs that I just copy paste that link, email the people, say, hey, check these songs out. My favorite one is, is Boom, 10,000 Hours. And they say, oh gosh, Joe, we love that too. Thanks for sending us all the songs. We agree. You're always right, Joe. And then I just buy the song and move on. That's 10,000 Hours, the song we chose in this case, not ten thousand dollars, thank goodness. You can get stuff for just a single use for twenty nine bucks, but in this case, it's big corporate America that we're licensing for. It is two hundred dollars, not twenty nine dollars, which is my normal price I'm paying for most of the songs I buy. You download it. Oh gosh, so hard! I got the song, and it also comes with a license certificate, so people know that you're legal and you did the right thing here. You can always you have the proof of your purchase with that license certificate. Comes with that, comes with the song, comes with a slide that you can put at the end of your video that people know, oh yeah, it's licensed as well. There's my folder, keep everything organized, and we're off to the races. It's all in the music folder. How do I choose music on Song Freedom? Well, go commercial. This is, I'm clicking on this to show me my commercial songs. I always go to trending. Trending shows me what the heck people are buying now. It's like the heartbeat of the site. And that's really how I found this 10,000 hour song. I just clicked on it and it shows me what other people are buying and whatever they're using. The more people buy, the more people use. It gets pushed up toward the top. Love new songs. I always go through the new stuff every day. Uh, I start my morning on Song Freedom on the new song tab, going through all the new songs, trying to find the next great song, and also drinking my coffee, listening to new music, this is how I chill. This is how I'm able to create stuff. So I also, I just clicked on the tab over there on the right. Those are all the mixtapes that Song Freedom does for me. The Song Freedom staff once a week goes in there and they update all these songs, uh, mixtapes for me. So I just click on whatever these songs are that they've selected for me that they know. They're the ones listening to this stuff all the time. I need to save time. So I click on stuff, find stuff I like. Uh, what's cool if I like a song, Oh, by the way, look at those dynamics. That's my kind of song right there. Three minute song, drops off in the middle, thunder ascending. But the similar songs thing, when I really, really like a song, gosh, I use it all the time to find, because I want to keep in that wheelhouse of the songs that I like. Uh, mainstream stuff, I always use mainstream. Why? Because people actually listen and love mainstream. So that's why I use it a lot. This shows me the best day of my life. Obviously, you guys have seen all these songs and heard these songs on the radio. These are songs that my clients love. Why try to reinvent the wheel when your clients actually like music that they hear and they like it? I love my indie stuff too. I constantly use indie stuff. Um, always use cinematic stuff as well. But you can't go wrong with the mainstream songs. They don't have all these main, every mainstream song that's ever been made, but it's nice to just click on here and they have uh, some of the ones that are most popular they usually have. Other people use the other tabs, and that's great, too, that I can, if I'm just a wedding guy, I can pick the wedding thing and just do what I want to do. There's all sorts of ways to search to make it easy for you guys out there on that website. So uh, I'm going to import these songs. This is how it all happens. Once you download songs from Song Freedom, I import them into Final Cut Pro. Here's my most recent shoot. Created the project. There's all my files. So there's my project up top left my files are right there i'm clicking on those those are the video shots i i got there that's from texas uh, houston area on the water and then uh eventually as i scroll down here we'll get to the canada 
shoot, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw a clip down there, throw my Song Freedom slide down there to show what that looks like. And there's my audio of the 10,000 hours. I'm going to delete this slide here. I'm going to just keep to my video work here. What I'm trying to do when I build a project, what I'm showing you here is, hey, here's my whole project we're looking at here. It's, it's going to be a short video, and now it's time to start editing, right? I got my favorite clip selected, so now it's time to start throwing things down, and I spend a ton of time at the very beginning of this video trying to get this off to a roaring start. I want to tease my, I'm actually speeding this clip up here, showing you all the, this is my process here. It's, I, I'm just throwing stuff down, trying to I throw more clips down, moving them around, trying to figure out, put this puzzle together, how my first 10 to 30 seconds to be, this is everything for my video, these first 10 to 30 seconds, I got to figure it out. So it takes me time, right? I really, because once I get those, those first really 30 seconds done, the rest of the video is like butter. It's like dominoes, just all comes together. So I just sped this up in real time, or sped this up so you guys could see what my editing looks like and how long it takes me to get to that point. I mean, that, that probably took me about an hour and a half. That's it. Good luck out there. Until next time, I'm Joe Schweitzer.